this uh, video is about Viskri, which is a small village in the Brasov area in Transylvania. Viskri became pretty famous in part because King Charles III, while he was Prince Charles, purchased a property in, uh, in the town and turned it into a museum. Fiskri is a very interesting place. It's an old Saxon village that was founded in the early 12th century by Hungarian kings of the Arpadian dynasty who were seeking to expand their territory into Transylvania. They needed to ensure that their dominance and defenses of the new territory by bringing in Zecklers, who were probably the ones that erected a small, towerless Christian Catholic church between 1100 and 1120 which was dedicated to the Apostle St. Andrew. But that's under dispute because coins and earrings found in graves, uh, both inside and outside the chapel, were initially thought to date from the reign of Coloman uh, from 1095 to 1116. But a revaluation found that the oldest coin came from the late reign of Giza II, suggesting their remains were of Saxons rather than Zekeli. Well, it appears, uh, by the way, uh, there were Zecklers, they were resettled, and in the second half of the 12th century, uh, clearly they were uh, Catholic Saxon settlers who were brought in by kings, the promised land. And the new settlers came from the Flanders region and spoke and still speak a language similar to the one in, spoken in Luxembourg. They named the village Weiskirch in Old Saxon men White Church, and Viskri is the Romanian word for the town and is derived from the Old Saxon. Around the middle of the 13th century, a tower house was built on the western side of the church and later a 23 foot high or seven meters high wall was added and the Saxons expanded the church. The process of fortifying the church as a refuge continued into the 15th century and 16th centuries all the way to 1650 as a response to raids by the Turks. By 1717 the church was in a dilapidated state and an overhaul of the church began. But by 1743, there was a period that was reasonably peaceful, and there was a partial defortification, and the inhabitants started dismantling the uh, fortifications and replaced the hoarding around the top of the choir was dismantled, and the choir vault was also removed and replaced with a simple stucco ceiling. At some point, the church was converted from a Catholic church to a Lutheran church. Church. The interior of the church, it's dominated by a gallery from the 18th century, which extends along the three sides of the church and is supported by wooden columns. The majority of the furnishings that uh, are seen in the church are from the 18th century as well. There's a strict seating arrangement during services, and they were dedicated by age and gender, and you could see that there are differences in the pews. The tower is very interesting as well. It's pretty hard to climb to the top because the um, stairwell, which is made of stone, is very narrow. And also there are some steep ladders that um, go all the way to the top of the, um, in the tower, at the top of the tower there is a um, walkway all around the tower and uh, that allows visibility of the entire village. But anyway, this, um, this has been a very interesting experience. Uh, the village is very interesting as well. It's now inhabited by Romanians and uh, Roma people. And I don't. Uh, I haven't seen any evidence that there are any more Saxons left. And in fact, the majority of uh, Saxons have uh, left during the communist period.